I was at work at the police department. As everybody knows, I kind of had a job there until the end of February as an administrative support because of problems that were going on with my certification with the state. The past two months, for those that know us and know the family, know how devastating the past two months has been. It's just been one disaster after another. And for myself and for Mary, I know it was a trying. Police officers are cynical by nature and we doubt everything, but it's the nature of our job. I have wrestled with that for years when it comes to my faith. Mr. Jim kind of called me out in church, which I didn't mind, but at the same time, it's like, oh wow, wasn't expecting that. Talk about the Lord working in mysterious ways. A couple of the passages he gave me really stood out, but there was one in particular that stood out for my situation. It was Isaiah uh, 54, 17. No weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. Well, that vindication came from me totally out of the blue. Everyone came together, they put hands on me, and they prayed. The state of North Carolina, when it comes to training and standards, they are, they are the ultimate say when it comes to whether or not I have a job because they're the ones that say, yeah, this guy can be a cop, he can't be a cop. And for those that have known me over the last 10 years in Beaufort, I've done everything that's ever asked and then some. I got accused of doing something that I didn't do. I was investigated by two different agencies that said, no, he didn't do this. One agency said, yes, he did. That agency attempted to do everything in their power to prevent me from becoming a law enforcement officer again. Well, last Wednesday, I'm sitting at the desk doing my job. I hear the chief absolutely go crazy in her office. She comes in and out of the blue there's a letter in the mailbox from the police or for the police department from training and standards. Inside that letter was my certification from the state of North Carolina. And apparently it looks like there was a lot more going on into the picture. Uh, somewhere along the way there was somebody that got a hold of all of my files from Beaufort and sent them to training and standards and said you need to look at this there's a problem. And that's kind of what has led me to where I'm at now. In all of what was going on, I was really beginning to stumble, beginning to doubt. But when something like that happens, when the state's already told you, you're looking at a year to a year and a half before we're even going to look at the situation. And then out of the blue, after a prayer like that, this happens. If that's not a testament to the power of God, there never will be. So I can honestly say, if anything, it has definitely helped to build my faith more than anyone could know. So you were sworn in when? I was, I was sworn in Friday morning at 8 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I've got to say the chief and the, and the town over there made a pretty big to-do about it just because of the nature of everything that went on with it. Um, the support that has come from my chief, who happens to be a, a pretty religious individual herself, you know, she, she saw the power and she saw the change in me, in my, my ability to believe. Because, you know, that, that old passage, uh, faith is the substance of things not seen. There's a lot of truth to that. And with law enforcement, it's always show me the proof. Well, he showed me the proof, Praise without God. a doubt. Yeah. Amen. Thank you.